Hello and welcome to the Overly Animated Podcast, where we take animation seriously. We talk everything animation here, including Adventure Time, which we'll be getting into right now. I'm Dylan Heisen, and today I'm joined by Sam Quattro. Hello. Alex Bonilla. Alex has entered the server. Is that a Minecraft thing? I, I don't know. You'll get a lot Probably. of that during this yeah. podcast. And Michelle Ander. Hi. Today we're talking the Adventure Time Minecraft special Diamonds and Lemons that aired just now on Cartoon Network, uh, July 20th. We, it's so important we had to podcast immediately after the airing. We yeah, talk Adventure right. Time here all, oh, every course. time. It's sporadically new at the Overly Animated Podcast. Find us at overlyanimated.com. Search for Overly Animated Adventure Time on iTunes. Subscribe there or on YouTube at overlyanimated.com slash YouTube. Do not miss our upcoming Adventure Time series finale coverage, The Ultimate Adventure. We had a bunch of news on that, which we'll be getting into first. So even if you're not interested in the Minecraft discussion, we have um, <laughs> news to talk about. So yeah, let's get into that first. Uh, we'll get to all of uh, our expert Minecraft thoughts soon. But uh, today was the Adventure Time San Diego Comic-Con panel, and we got the finale date. Finally, it is September 3rd, Labor Day at 6 o'clock. That's too far away. <laughs> I was surprised by this also. It is one day before they're releasing it on DVD. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh my god. I'm not surprised. Oh, man. The last possible second. And uh yeah. I feel like a ton of other shows have done that. It's it's a it's an animation network thing to do. Not a good thing, but yeah, it's a, they, look, they're trying to build up the maximum amount of hype for the series finale and we're getting it September. And the maximum and amount wanted... of hype for the DVD. Yes, yeah, the DVD. I need to get those DVD sales, son. Yeah. I mean, I guess what I'll have us they profiting, but um, uh, I don't know. Well, hopefully they'll have a big audience today. It's a big event, uh, the Adventure Time series finale. It's definitely, the, I think, the biggest TV animation event since we've been doing this podcast, so we're very excited about that. And we got a trailer for it. So we already had kind of a mini trailer before. We had a new one. Um, it's very like movie trailer with announcer voice and stuff. They showed it after this episode again. And uh, also a clip for it, um, which uh, we'll get into what was on the clip. Um, and uh, the other only other big panel news was Rebecca Sugar coming in and singing a song from the series finale Time Adventure that she wrote, um, which is really great. And uh, I guess find all that on our Twitter at OVA podcast. Um, but yeah, that's uh, I assume Cartoon Eck will have a version of that up as well. Um, yeah. What was our Alex? What do you think of Time Adventure? Uh, I, oh, I love the song. Like it, it just, Rebecca Sugar, whenever she sings, it, it touches some nerve in my heart, whether it is a Steven Universe song or an Adventure Time song. Some, something about her voice always, always manages to hit me in some place uh, very sensitive. And the song itself is nice. Like It's a very finale-ish song. Like, uh, th- th- this show is always focused around Finn and Jake and the final song being about like their friendship never ending and stuff. Like it's very, it's very sweet. So, <laughs> the, the title probably there probably could have been a better song title than just swapping Adventure Time to Time Adventure. But what are you gonna do? Well, that's the perfect song title. Um, yeah, yeah. Presumably, if either Finn and Jake are singing this, or it's in the background of a scene with them. Yeah. Um, what if Bimo is singing it? I guess Aww. Bimo. It's tree trunks. Is- <laughs> No, no, yes. don't, don't, ruin, don't ruin it like that. Oh, I love tree trunks. Yeah, you don't that, like tree trunks, Alex? Alex is Alex is wrong about the Emmy nominated tree trunks. So, uh, <laughs> don't, don't don't remind me. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sam, Michelle, any thoughts on the song? Uh, listen to it yet okay you yeah, go listen to I it i haven't listened to it yet okay either. it's new this is i retweeted it but I <laughs> look this is yet. this is very new uh so we'll, we'll get yeah we'll get on that um how about this clip uh so this is uh alex give the summary of what goes on in the clip okay uh so that uh the clip is finn and jake they're staring off from a cliff and they see a normal man betty and a, a maja still in a coma on a magic carpet doing some weird ritual thing and they're as confused as we are and then they walk over to princess bubblegum who's in a tent with all the other uh, side characters like the duke of nuts is there for some random reason like other characters just planning their attack on gumbaldia and also lemon grab is just being lemon grab with uh, unacceptable or uh, i don't like this plan so things like that so yeah, it was a, it was a clip. I was most excited because like Maja is just a character Maja. we haven't seen in forever. Like I I I I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if more than seventy five percent of the audience has forgotten who she is at this point. But uh, yeah, so like that that definitely hints to the that some besides the war, other weird stuff is going to be going on in the background of this finale. 
can't forget Maja. Sky Witch is iconic. Um, yeah, very exciting. It is, but it aired like five years ago. Exactly. Yeah, 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 that, was that her last appearance? Uh, I no, think she, she so. had. No, she had another one. It was like a battle with like the war elephant guy. Oh, right, right. Yeah. Rootbeard guy died in that one. <laughs> yeah. Rip, the, rip your guy. A lot, a lot of things rip. happened. Um, my favorite part of this clip was Lemon Grab. Obviously, <laughs> he was like stewing as this. Uh, who, who was the other guy that was saying it? Was he? Do we know who he was? The, um, the Duke of Nuts, right? Okay. Yeah. I don't remember him. Um, he's like he's, from, he's a season one OG right there. <laughs> yeah, this is maybe why. Um, yeah, he's like uh, bad plan. It's a terrible plan. Yeah, that, that's great. <laughs> For, for, um, great yeah. impression well we'll get more lemon grab this is a very lemon grab podcast and um no yeah no. yes <laughs> he does appear in the episode we're going to talk about He's, he does Le- lemon is in the title of the episode and well hi uh, though <laughs> because there's lemons i don't know what else do you call this episode um yeah he's 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 great and it's just very like war yeah bubblegum's like leading this like war council on how to proceed yeah there's a lot a lot, a lot happening that we're gonna we're gonna see in the series finale. Um, anything from the trailer? I don't remember anything specific. Most uh, of it was just like a clip show from yeah, it old clips. Yeah, yeah. So I don't know. There's some new stuff too, though. But um, yeah, just very hyping up the the series finale. So yeah, yeah there was like a shadow of a very large creature, that, like Gumball Guardian size, but it was just a shadow. It kind of, it kind of reminded me of that Steven Universe trailer where we just saw the shadows of the, the Topaz and Aquamarine, and at the time we didn't know oh, who yeah. they were like just like oh okay new new big monster person okay type for that okay yeah so uh this so the series finale september 3rd um might have some podcasts leading up to that but let's get into let's talk minecraft um because uh we're experts right so let's get everyone's minecraft expertise here oh man sam well what's your experience yeah. with minecraft um i played it once in like 2013 and then I watched uh, the just YouTube guy named Peanut Butter Gamer. He has like Minecraft Hardcore, and he's done like a couple seasons of that. And I watched a couple of those. So yeah, that's my and my nephew likes Minecraft. The end. Okay, that is the most Minecraft experience you'll find on the panel. Um, <laughs> Michelle, uh, any Minecraft experience? <laughs> wow. My Minecraft experience is being in high school and having all <laughs> the guys around me be like, Michelle, check out this amazing house I built in Minecraft. Or Michelle, look at this cool boat I made in Minecraft. And and like un- like not being able to understand why they were so excited they built something. Because I assumed it was like The Sims and it wasn't that hard to build anything. I but after watching this, I'm starting to think maybe it does take, because it seems like, the show the Adventure Time's implying that you have to actually gather materials before you can build things, which I did not know. So maybe all those <laughs> okay, high school boys had knowledge. reason to be proud because they actually invested in hours and days collecting these materials to build their boats and stuff. You'd be surprised how hard it is to build a house in The Sims because I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I just don't have the patience Put some walls more. together. Not talking yeah, about the Sims. Though, that's okay, we're not that's, talking... a, that's in real life too, right? They just put some walls and you make a house. Put some walls. Look, Maybe talk... a door if you want to get out or not. Okay, we're talking Minecraft. Alex, I have a Minecraft experience. My brother was very into Minecraft for several years. I did see him spend weeks on a, one project, like a wow. house that he was making, the, like five floors or whatever. Uh, so like he was really deep into it. He ge- he gave me a a, a creeper keychain once that I eventually lost because I wasn't interested in it at all. So sorry <laughs> if, if you're listening to this. But uh, yeah, so my, my brother was really into it just by watching him playing it, uh, like got some of the basics. So like stuff in this episode, but I wrecked like it kind of just came flooding back like wait I've seen this before whoa <laughs> even though like I haven't I haven't actually seen this stuff in maybe four or five years okay that's good yeah I've never played Minecraft um I have watched wow. loading ready run like once or twice play Minecraft that's all um so yeah there you go and uh, so we are not really experts on this I apologize if we don't understand the references from the episode we're not really the target demo but we are going to talk this episode anyway so Sam what did you think of Diamonds and Lemons I thought it was nice it was cute um you know I don't know there's not much to say about it it's just a Minecraft episode they're trying to trying to employ like different elements of Minecraft into Adventure Time, and I guess it works because they're both kind of fantasy settings. I was surprised that they didn't just like mod 
like Minecraft. Like they just yeah. didn't, like, put in like you know Finn and Jake skins in Minecraft and just shoot the episode like that, like a uh, Red versus Blue with Rooster, Rooster Teeth's like old thing. But uh, yeah, it was it was it was fine. Yeah, no, this isn't this isn't not like uh, just modded Minecraft. It's all it's basically yeah, just a normal Adventure Time episode. Yeah, it's yeah. A normal Adventure Time episode, but everybody is square. Yeah, it's uh, the art. The art style was created by Joe Sparrow, but um, it's uh, it's storyboarded by Adventure Time people. You know, written by Adventure Time people. Um, yeah, and uh, referencing, I'll reference an interview with Adam Muto on Minecraft.net that I read leading up to this episode. So that's where I, <laughs> where I got that wow. information. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's uh, Minecraft.net. Yeah, that's the thing. So, um, to Sam liked it. It was nice, basically. Yeah, yeah. it was fine. Sam okay. voice. It was fine. Sam voice. Yes. <laughs> uh, Michelle, what do you think of Diamonds and Lemons? I thought this was a great introduction to Minecraft for <laughs> a new. But <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> yeah, no, totally. Like it I didn't know is. what a creeper was. I didn't know about that creepy black. Like figure that you can't Enderman. look in the eyes of the Enderman. I didn't know like you have to plant things or that you had to mine things or the diamonds were hard to get. I don't know why Marceline's really into bone meal, but I'm assuming that's a Minecraft thing too. It's just like all these things. Oh, and like the zombies. So there's zombies. You're like legit, legit zombies in the game, which yeah. I guess makes it harder to do stuff. And then when the sun comes up, they all burst into flames and go away. So. You know, that's interesting. There's just, like, a lot of things I, like, never knew were a part of Minecraft. But knowing them, I can understand a lot more why people were into the game. Because I literally thought it was just putting, like, stacking blocks on top of each other like Legos. And I, I, I could not see the appeal. But if they make it that hard to make anything, everything is an accomplishment. <laughs> and I can totally so get it now. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So what about the episode? Uh, you like, like the episode itself? You liked it? Yeah, I, li- I mean... I, I also haven't been keeping up with Adventure Time a ton, which was, so I was which was happy not, to not be, relevant to this episode. We were yeah, we were we were only concerned with the most important characters that have been with the show for forever, and I liked that too. Like I could just easily jump back in, was all caught up, no crazy plot stuff going on. It was just a really chill episode, and I, I appreciated that too. It was yeah. very self contained. Yeah, but it was very self contained. Um, yeah, Alex, what do you think of Diamonds and Lemons? I think Michelle pinpoints something important that this definitely feels like an introduction to Minecraft. Like th- this is crafted towards uh, mi- introducing people to concepts of what Minecraft is like, stuff that's important in Minecraft, how the world works there. But it doesn't feel like an episode. Like it, it feels like. Uh, like two minute vignettes, uh, just like uh, one moment we're just checking what's up going on with the tree trunks. One moment just seeing LSP have a conversation with Ice King, and then we go check on uh, PB, uh, PB and Marceline making a windmill. Like they're, they're all just living their normal lives, and like there's no there's no real connection to it. Uh, you try you try to sneak it, sneak in that deepness at the end with Finn talking about how like. Uh, Maybe the the real work is uh, I mean, the real joy comes from the work and not exactly from what you earn from it and stuff like that. But you don't get that throughout the episode, at least not not in my opinion. So like it, it's it's a very inoffensive eleven minutes. Uh, there's there's okay jokes in there, but it's for Adventure Time. I feel like it can do more. At the same time, this last season though has had still had these slice of life episodes, stuff like bl- bananas, stuff like uh, like um, the, um, the the one where Bimo and Ice King are traveling salesmen or whatever. But like, and, but like those ha- are con- are connected stories. Those uh, go from beginning to end on one one plot line, and you get to know the characters. But like here, as Michelle noted, you can just jump in and like you don't really need any character background, and there's no character growth here either. So like in the end, what am I getting out of it as an Adventure Time episode? And I was hoping for that. To like you, Adventure Time has done well with guest animated episodes in the past, in my opinion. Like stuff stuff like Food Chain is very interesting to watch and is doing creative things, but also like it, it's so far out there. But this. It's using Minecraft, but it's not going far enough for me to buy into this being a, a totally different world. It just feels like placing Adventure Time characters and just seeing what they do, but without any con- any connection to anything. 
Harsh critique from from Alex on this episode. Wow. I wasn't planning on going that deep into <laughs> the narrative effectual. Alex is a forever fan. <laughs> Diamonds and lemons, yeah. Okay, that's good. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's valid. Um I also I don't think this is meant to be an introduction to Minecraft. I think that this is um meant to be here's oh, various like events. Like explain not, everything not. so well. I mean well, okay, I think it feels like that to us. I just I think it's like uh here's here's a bunch of uh best ofs of Minecraft things and let's combine it with the best ofs of Adventure Time. Like um I don't know if like the goal mm. is to introduce us to the game. It's more just like let's uh, we got hit on uh, you know we got to have the creepers, we got to have the endermen. Um, you know, and, uh, let's, let's sit, go through our main cast and see, uh, the funniest way to combine that with, with Minecraft elements. And I think, I think that's like the strong part of the episode. I think this episode's very funny. Um, at least several points. Um, I think I have at least several, um, you know, great lines written down. I want to go over them. Like, uh, I, I agree. There's not really plot stuff here. It is kind of vignettes. It's kind of just Finn going around and, uh, a, doing Minecraft things with a bunch of characters and uh, none of it really ties that much together. Um, but uh, I, it's, this was better than I thought it would be. <laughs> but how about that? It was enjoy. I found it enjoyable and funny and um, I didn't have necessarily high hopes for the Minecraft tie in episode. But I think this proves that Adventure Time can make um, any situation good here. Not that Minecraft's bad. It's just, you know, a corporate chilling episode, you know, that type of thing, you know, like whatever. But, um, it's, uh, it was still good. Like, uh, Adventure Time can still do, uh, great episodes no matter what. And, uh, that being said, we're at the end of the run here. So, um, this is our, like, almost our last hurrah before the finale as well. I think this is made after the finale. And, um, we, I, I think it's probably nice to see this before. Uh, the series finale airs, even though, even if it held up our, our finale for a long time, because I think ending on the actual finale will be a good thing. Um, but okay, let's talk, let's talk best ofs of Diamonds and Lemons. Um, Michelle, do you have a favorite moment from this episode? How about one you remember from, from something that happens here? I, well, I remember everything with tree trunks in it and everything with Lemon. <laughs> Good. I this just, is good. Good to taste me, in side very, characters. They're very memorable. I love everything about Chi Chunks. I love her voice. I can't believe she's married to a pig. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> that's probably that's the only recent thing I think that is in this episode that you might not have. I don't know if that's recent. <laughs> yeah, that's like, like halfway only, through the show. She only has pumpkins, but she everyone knows Chi Chunks bakes the best apple pie, and I love at the end she like jacks all of Lemon Grab's apples. Yeah. Um, I also like think it's amazing that Lemon Grip just doesn't know how to plant stuff, which apparently is also really important in Minecraft. And then he got the the thing wrong. It wasn't lemon tree. It was an apple tree. So I don't. Those were very small moments, but I enjoyed them immensely. Michelle, there's an episode that aired last year that you would really like involving tree trunks Ew. <laughs> that got Ew, that got nominated for an Emmy. That uh, it's a her oh. it's her marital history, her history of her Ooh. lovers. Wait, yeah. she's been married before. Yeah, the <laughs> yes. Has she been married like five times? Basically, yes. Yeah. So you yeah. You'd, you'd, you'd like? I'll that watch episode. it. Okay, <laughs> that's great. Uh, yeah. Okay, Sam. What's your favorite moment here? Um. Well, obviously, bubblegum and Marceline. Duh. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I thought they were building a house together at first, and I was like, oh, yeah, we're we're doing this. They're going to live there. The Minecraft episode is going to be, like, the end game for uh, Bubbling. <laughs> but now they're just building a windmill together, so whatever. Also, I took issue with Jake just, like, throwing away all the diamonds in the lava. Like, why would you do that? <laughs> yeah, like Finn said, they're so hard to get, apparently. Yeah, like, what's what's the point of doing that to just, like, amuse yourself when it's just, like, you're just, you just wasted all that time? Because it's Jake. This is the character that yeah, would do that. Yeah, Jake is, is the a... worst character on the show. <laughs> wow, this, is a very se- this is a very season one Jake thing to do. <laughs> yeah, the, I, the, yeah, that's great. The, yeah, Jake is the troll one who would throw the diamonds in. I, I think I think that checks out. Although current Jake, yeah, not I don't know about that, but um, yeah, but Bubblegum and Marceline, did you like their apple moments, Sam? Yes, end? I did. It was very cute. I was feeling it. I had a little flutter in my heart. <laughs> Um, was it everything you expected for bubbling in the uh, Minecraft episode? (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, I wasn't expecting any bubbling in the Minecraft episode, so I'll take it. Okay. Yeah, I think think that's true. I'm into it. (laughs) Into it. Yeah. All right, Alex, favorite moment. Um, I, I actually like the sequence where Finn meets the Enderman and like, he has to try avoiding staring at him and staring at his toes. It's very awkward humor stuff. And then LSP shows up to scare the Enderman off with her toe talk. 
and uh, and yeah, and then I, I, Ice King just shows up to steal Finn's pumpkin. It's like you got griefed, and then he ends up getting chased by the Enderman. I, I think that sequence works comedically, and like a fit. Finn just meeting up with a weird, uh, tall monster thing in the middle of the forest. Like uh, they, they they got good stuff out of that little piece of the episode. Yes, uh, yeah, I think uh, LSP being the only thing scary enough to scare off the Enderman. That's good. Her being annoying and <laughs> creepy. Uh, yeah, I think I think that works very well. Yeah, nice king at the end. Um, this doesn't count, but I'm gonna say the best moment is the theme song and the outro. Um, with the, the the theme song was a nice touch. Yeah, the um, did, song did, was nice. did you enjoy that Fiona and Cake frame at the end there? Oh, I didn't see them. Oh uh, yeah, for, for for a moment the intro glitches, and so instead of Finn and Jake, it's Fiona and Cake at the end there. Nice. Ooh. Yeah. It's Are that... we to believe that this is another fan fiction? By I, I don't I remember see. the Fiona and Cake like line storyline and where that went. Yeah. Would've... But yeah, another fan a, a Minecraft Adventure Time AU. Yeah. Quite or in Minecraft, they just switch their skins. So, like, Finn feels like being Fiona one day, and she just, he just puts on the mm. Fiona skin. That's a good point. Whoa. Mind blowing. Wait, yeah. is, are skins a Minecraft thing? Yeah, yes. it's like yes. you start out with what? a default guy okay. who's like Steve or whatever. Not like, like uh, I, the skin's name is like Steve or something. And then okay. you can, like, make slash download or whatever another skin that's like. And oh. a character or something. I don't know, man. They they probably so could have done that. It. Yeah, they probably could have done that joke in the episode. Then, if like uh, Finn just turns into Fiona and then turns. Wow, back. why didn't they? That's disappointing. <laughs> they probably had like so many things they wanted to do, and they had to narrow it down to what made the there. most sense in the time frame of eleven minutes. That would be my guess. Yeah. Uh, but, also, I'd just like to shout out to Justin. Breezy showed up for a second in the where, intro. What's so. where? <laughs> Uh, Alexa, all when, the things. When, when they when they pan across the mountain, they've added a bunch of little characters. So there's like Manish Man, there's Doctor Princess, and there's Breezy. <laughs> oh, nope, okay. Don't tell Justin; he'll freak out. Um, maybe we'll see if he finds. <laughs> Breezy the finally made the intro after ten seasons. Wow, yeah, after ten Beautiful. seasons. Beautiful. But yeah, this this Diamonds Lemons intro is the uh, chip tune version of the theme song with like the pixelated graphics. I thought it was really wonderful. Um, and then the clo- the closing theme also they played that and it was a chiptune version of that as well. Um, yeah, I think yeah. It, at, at the end, did the Enderman make friends with an Ice Enderman or what? What was I thought that? He made one. I thought he made like a a partner or something. <laughs> I don't know. It was very fast. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't say. Okay, yeah, it's stuff in the outro too. It was a jam packed episode. Um, all the in episode stuff. Uh, obviously, lemon grab was the best part with the the lemon and trying to plant the lemon. And um, uh, he's uh, he says his catchphrase. He says unacceptable. Yes. Wow! Wow! What what a surprise! When's the last time he said that on the show? I don't, I don't know. know. It's been Four a years ago. It's well, been, when was the last big lemon grab? Yeah, it's, been, it's been a long time. But, lemon uh, Hope? The, the mountain? Oh, wow, that's been a long time. I remember Lemon Hope. Yeah, he says it's, he gets an apple and he says, unacceptable, unacceptable. It's, it's, uh, he said, lemon, lemon seed babies, you shall be my true heirs. Lemon <laughs> seed babies. <laughs> that's great, too. And he's, uh, he's, when he's like trying to get the lemon, he says, impertinence, grow, grow. Yeah. Anyth- anything Lemon Grab says is great. So I think this is a good use of him trying to, to plant the lemon. Yeah, he doesn't even know to dig dig one hole. He can't even get yeah, that. Yeah, somehow. Uh, I do enjoy Princess Bubblegum coming to comfort him. Like uh, that, That's something we kind of lost, Princess Bubblegum's connection to Lemon Grab. We never really got back into that. But I, I love like this little scene of like Princess Bubblegum still feeling some kind of pity for Lemon Grab, his, her old creation. Yeah, well, that's kind of what I was thinking, seeing her help him, because maybe it was like, oh, Lemon Grab wants to make things the way she made him, and that's sort of endearing in a weird way. <laughs> if that's what he was going for, I guess so. I in a way, like, isn't Minecraft full of people like Princess Bubblegum who want to create? Are, things? Aren't we all Princess Bubblegum playing Minecraft? Exactly. Yeah. We all make our <laughs> own Sam's kingdom. Yeah. Okay. Um, also, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? What are we talking about? It's obvious. What does that mean? Like, in a way, okay. aren't we all? Prin- okay. Anyway, um, <laughs> Finn, Finn, Finn says, uh, uh, "Miladies, uh, Malemon." I like that. Malemon was, was nice. really good. 
Yeah. yeah. At first I was like, Malemon. Milady's what does Finn say that? No, but it was a, Mile- it was a Malemon joke. Yeah. Um, it's, uh, yeah. Okay. Let's go through, let's go through all the things, uh, written down. So we start off with, uh, Finn fighting creepers and a spider. Um, got our creepers in there. Uh, that's one of the things I know about. <laughs> so I recognize yep. this. It was a creeper. Got that. His sword broke. He says, it's mine time. Yeah. Boo. Boo. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Uh, the, the zombie spawns a carrot. I guess that's a thing. That's a thing, apparently. Yeah. Um, and then Finn's like stacking like the things and he goes up a hill that way. Uh, we talked about lemon grab already. Finn goes underground and meets Jake and Jake is uh, digging up diamonds and throwing them into the lava. Does he say vanilla no mods? Is that what he says? <laughs> vanilla no mods. <laughs> that, 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 that's a very Minecraft term. So I, I think you heard that right. Okay. And those are just video game terms in general. Like, yeah, yeah, that's what I heard. And Finn said, calls the diamond a shiny boy. God, that's how you know that Reverend McElroy, Jesus. That's how you know the episode's made now. <laughs> it's just a shiny boy reference. Yeah, shiny boy. Yeah. Um. The gra- we meet the gravel gang, which is um, <laughs> LSP Gunter Ice King. Who's the wizard? I always forget. The, the life giving magi. Okay. He's cool. I want more of him. Yeah. Why is he? Why is he part of this gang? Because Ice King likes him. Yeah. They go uh, shopping for for suits. For suits. Oh, yeah. He's the, yeah, he's that guy. Spoken wow. suits. Yeah. Um, That's great. That was not that long ago. Um, yeah. Grief. Grief. Someone. Um, yeah. What? What does this like, mean? You steal get, stuff. No. It's like you. You. It's like basically being a troll in game. According no. to the Minecraft wiki, griefing is the <laughs> act of irritating and angering players, usually on multiplayer servers, using okay, methods such as destruction, social engineering, and trolling. Okay, you're social trolling. engineering? Yes, what? What do they do with that? What does that mean? Like right. they get into their head and play mind games as yes. a, a troll watch, tactic? Um, I used to watch griefing videos for Team Fortress Two. Yeah. One was this guy. He just had like the Dig Dug theme playing like on his mic on like the voice chat whenever he walked around <laughs> oh, whenever he walked the, the dig dog team would play and it would just like annoy everybody so yeah oh, that's, that's hilarious i would argue what jake was doing was more a griefing than what ice king did yeah it definitely but yeah. you know i'm not i'm not the minecraft expert okay. here. And, and in the end he changes finn's worldview so it is kind of social engineering <laughs> oh wow oh maybe we, alex have we discovered the depth you were looking for from this episode Oh, also on the Minecraft wiki, the mouse turns into a sword. That's pretty cool. Oh, How does that yeah. happen? Get, get out of here. Oh, so um, that, that's one thing, too. So the, this episode shows you that your weapons only have a certain lifespan. Like, he kept breaking them. I'm assuming he would have to build more to, to get yeah. new weapons. Yeah. That's, that's, that's like a, a thing, too. In a lot of games nowadays, and I hate it. Like, yeah. just let me keep my weapon. Kill everything. Yeah, I was I was playing The Last of Us recently, and like your melee weapons don't last that long, and I'm like, God, why? Yeah, anyway, it's, it's like a, it's a new trend, Breath of the Wild, etc. Um, uh, is, 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 someone says only cool mean girls are allowed. Is that what they said? LSP probably said that Dylan's type. Of girl. Yeah, I was like, ooh, I I agree. Cool mean girls. It, that's, that's... Is LSP your type? Uh, she's the like uh, Flanderization of of the my fave archetype. Yeah, <laughs> she, she, she's that's the I guess the joke. Oh my made. god! How dare you? Yeah, yeah, um, Dylan. Uh, okay, let's not. I can't just like I, Alice. I love. Yeah, I, I do love Alice. Yeah. I think she's well used to in this episode. Um, Excuse me, her name is Gravel Gal. Yeah, she says yeah, call, call me by my gang <laughs> name. My no, no, g- g- game name. Game she name. She didn't say. I tried, I heard gang name. I, was I, like, I heard gang too, name too, and I was like, that's really? problematic. Yeah. I hope it was game name. Well, I, yeah, really I hope think it was it's game, game name because, like in Minecraft, your your game name floats over your your person, not whatever oh. when you play on multiplayer servers. So uh, I, that's what I. Th- because Thank gang name doesn't make sense of it. I mean, LSP would say gang name, she would but say in that. in Minecraft, uh, I don't think that makes sense. No, I think it's better with gang name because. Uh, uh, all right, you, you believe what you want to believe. Gra- gravel gal, yeah. Um, we have a uh, yeah, but we like we like the gravel gang. That was an interesting combination. Yeah, uh, we had Mar- Marcy and Bubblegum uh, building the windmill. Is it's- are windmills important in Minecraft? Or are they just doing it? Don't know. 
Right. Sam. I, I, guess, I guess they're used to make this bone meal that ends up being important. But how does a windmill help them get bone meal? Well, you, windmills are used to grind things. So if you put bones in the windmill. Ah, uh, I see. Wow, Marceline was really on top of it then. Resurrecting them, making them build it, and then crushing them wow, afterwards. she's a murderer. Circle of dead life. Smart murder. Yeah, she's, yes, okay. Skel- skeleton workers. Yeah, was she grinding the skeleton workers up? I guess so. That's Probably, so yeah. Yeah, then she, uh, we get the, we got our first crafting here, I think. Um, I think they made, uh, is, this, is it called crafting in Minecraft? Okay, well, yeah. I, I would assume it's called it's in crafting. The, it's in the name. Mine- um, just to Minecraft. Yeah, the crafting uh, table. Yeah, we make good use of that here. And, uh, diamonds, lapis. Lapis was, I didn't yeah. know we're watching Steven Universe. Yeah. Um, nuggets. Yeah. And then, uh, we make a rocket. Is that what it is? It yeah. seems like a, or a firework of some kind. Yeah. Good, good cameo from Lapis. And, Why do you uh, need a diamond to make a firework? Is my question. I don't know. Are Minecraft diamonds flammable? Don't. Know. Okay. The Marceline, the Bone Meal Queen. Yeah, and then okay, we get some tree trunks and Mr. Pig, and uh, they're playing cards, and uh, she goes to craft a uh, pie. I think this was great. This is like. <laughs> This was the cl- classic combining a Minecraft element with Adventure Time classic element. Tree trunks, baking pies. She goes to just, you see the crafting thing on top of the oven. But she only has pumpkins. So many uh, pumpkins. But they're like jack-o'-lanterns, too. Yeah. They're not just like regular old pumpkins. They have faces carved in them. Yeah. Were uh, these pumpkins alive at some point? Uh... Well, if you can grow apples from a tree, you could probably grow pumpkins from a pumpkin patch, right? In the but game, would they would they grow in the game with faces? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I really yeah, we don't. don't know. A, I hope so. Nothing so because somebody can make a lot of money in real life if you could manage to do that, like a jack o' lantern vine, where it makes yeah. the pumpkins already made with as jack o' lanterns. Like that would save a lot of money. Okay, but this is, this is speculating on things we don't know about. But um, <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, crafts the thing. Um, then uh, Finn goes to ride Mr. Pig in with the carrot in front of him. Uh, Mr. Pig says, "You know, you can just tell me where to go." I guess this is a thing in the game. Probably. <laughs> yeah. 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 Riding the pig with the carrot. Yeah, that also seems like another. Um, yeah, another go-to with the pig character. We have the Enderman scene, which we talked about. Uh, Mr. Pig goes wee wee wee. <laughs> All the way home, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, he's like a pet butt cameo um, in the background. Um, oh, yeah, BMO not in this episode. Adam talked about that in the interview. They, 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 had, BMO, they had BMO stuff, but it got cut for time. Wait, yeah. so BMO is a video game. Can a video game be yeah. in a video game? Yes. That's, that's why BMO you, couldn't be in the if episode. If you can uh, mod Minecraft, probably. It yeah, why, why aren't they playing played. Minecraft on BMO? Yeah. There are video games inside of video games. Whoa. Sam's the expert. I believe it. Uh, like, take, for instance, any of, like, you know, Rockstar's games, like Grand Theft Auto or Bully or something. They have, like, arcade games in those games. Yeah, okay. They're so mini-games. We should have bought BMO and played a mini-game inside uh, Minecraft. Yeah, okay. Um, the uh, Enderman doesn't have toes. LSP annoys him away. Uh uh, tells Finn smells like get out of here, but come back after you've showered. To, to Finn, <laughs> I love LSP. Is Finn LSP going to be Endgame? I think that is. I hope we're, so. we're, 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 we're so talking. We've been talking about what the Endgame Finn ship is. We're like, why is it Huntress Wizard? Well, maybe that's a diversion, and it's LSP and Finn. Uh, oh, definitely. Uh, this, this is giving me bad breezy flashbacks. Please, no, oh, no. Oh. Breezy and Finn is that the Endgame? No, no. no but the, L- the, L- the LSP Finn interaction in Breezy is still uh, seared in my mind, and I don't want to go back there again. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And then Ice King's chased chased by the Endermen. Um, yeah. The lemon seed babies. Uh, he grew an apple tree. Tree trunks takes the apples. Um, to, to say, does he say buy me for my apples? Yeah. What does yeah. that mean? You can buy people <laughs> in the game. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I guess yeah. not. I, I I assume he meant buy my apples from me. Oh, based or like, you know, pay, pay like pay, pay me for my apples, something like that. Yeah, but, that uh, makes sense. I, it was, it was, there's a lot of things I was like, did I mishear this? Like, the but game yeah, thing, it, it's like, it's lemon grab. So like, who cares? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, who cares? I care. I, well, I that's care you, Dylan. Yeah, I can't take lemon grab anymore. Team lemon grab. 
can't mm. wait for the show to be over so I don't have to listen to Lemon Grab ever again. Oh, that's me. Oh, wow. Wow. Just keep Lemon rolling. Grab's barely yeah. been on the show. Okay. Um, Jake's like, they're, yeah, throwing the diamonds in the lava is so hard to get. Um, Finn's like, there's beauty and hard work itself and like no, the rocket isn't. and uh, the lava comes down and uh, yeah, that was the ending. What, what, what was what our takeaways from the ending, Alex? <laughs> that's what made me mad at the end like Finn is like trying to sneak in like no no this all meant something man like this all has a meaning it teaches you that work is what's great about things but the whole episode has nothing to do with that you're just trying to somehow finagle your way to like justifying what Jake is doing when all Jake is doing is being a troll and like I feel like early Adventure Time episodes also did this a lot where Jake would just do dumb things, and then Finn would try to pull out a lesson from it, and the, the, like it, you, the whole episode tells you they weren't going for that. So, so like, it, it, it's it's just an annoying, and like it ended up at least for me being like the 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 ribbon on top of like what the problem with this episode is. Like it it didn't really feel like it was actually aiming for something. Well, I I, I could interpret this as a parody of the show itself. How about that? And the show trying to have morals and uh, uh, the classic lamp shading justification. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, I think it's. La- I think that might be what they're trying for a little bit. Do you <sighs> think there's going to be Minecraft Adventure Time toys? Oh, definitely. Oh, totally. Yeah, I, at, yeah. at the very least, there has to be like an Adventure Time pack in the Minecraft mobile or whatever is uh, they're updating at this point. I mean, they have toys for like YouTubers Minecraft things. So why not Adventure Time? Yeah, I'm sure they will. I gotta make that money some way. Yeah, I mean, they invested in making an entire episode out of it, so that, like, the, 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 there's a close partnership there, I'm sure. Yeah, and I, I think the art style is one of the things that succeeded the most here. Um, like, I think, I think it looked really great. Um, like, it's like a combination between Minecraft, Adventure Times, visuals, um, and uh, yeah. So I think like toy, toys or anything based on like the this like distinctive style, I think would be cool. Yeah, and that, that's one thing I actually do want to say is good about this episode, the fact that they do manage to mesh the art style as well. Uh, there have been some guest animated episodes of Adventure Time that are very hard to watch because of how jarring the style difference is. But like this is on the closer side to Adventure Time while still being its own thing, so I, I definitely appreciate it for that. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, okay, any any other thoughts on the episode? Or closing thoughts, Sam? I mean, it was fine. I don't know. Now that I think about it, like, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of any of the guest animated episodes or, like, any of that kind of thing. Because they're just... They just revert back to typical Adventure Time. Like, oh, we're wacky and Jake is kind of a jerk. And, you know, a bunch of stuff happens. The end. And there's no, like, moving forward because it's just, like, a sectioned off little island of itself. Mm. But so yeah, I I wasn't a big fan. I kind of wish that you know this wasn't a thing really. But I'm not the I I'm not the Adventure Time crew. I didn't have this opportunity hoisted upon me. I imagine if I were the CEO, I would be like, yeah, sure, let's make some money. So there you go. <laughs> okay, yeah, very <laughs> skeptical view of the process here. Um, the interesting, interesting critique of the guest animated episodes. I think Bad Jubies is really good stuff like. That. I, well, I honestly I'll, I'll, did I'll, really like Food Chain a lot for for what it was. I found it very odd and in- entertaining. And I like the song. Sam Sam raises a good point though that a lot of these episodes do depend on the very classic Adventure Time dynamic of Jake being a jerk, Finn trying to make things better, and stuff all, all happy ending in the end. And Bad Jubies is like that too, right? Because Bad Jubies is also Jake being a jerk and not helping out with the building of the structure but then at the end it's pulling out the lesson no you just got to take your time appreciate nature that's what i was doing so like it's pretty much the same exact thing here but i i think bad jewies is a better episode just because i think that lsp is funnier in that episode and she's a main part of it so i i prefer bad jubies and also i i agree food chain is pretty good beyond the grotto i think is great ketchup is half guest animated and that one's pretty good but like uh, th- this one is a classic example. Of what Sam mentioned is just kind of going back to the 
old Adventure Time dynamic, where in regular Adventure Time, I feel like we've advanced beyond that at this point with their characterization. Yeah. As someone who hasn't watched the show in a few years, I feel like that is a fair articulation, Alex. Okay. Yeah. Michelle, what are your final thoughts? Um, I, I, so the ending hashtag deep moment might have felt kind of snuck in there, but I still liked it. I still found it thoughtful because I, I don't know the idea that like you, you're proud of making things, but it's also way more fun to be in the middle of making something and to figure out how to make a really cool thing happen. And that just kind of fleeting joy I feel like that's what sustains you. And, and like that spoke to me for sure. And I, I, it was nice to see it articulated in a thoughtful way. So, yeah. I mean, I also, like Dylan, I wasn't expecting it to know this episode. So I just, like, what it was, I thought was fine and nice and chill. And I liked that it kind of had a little thing for you to chew on, which seems very, again, on brand for Adventure Time. They love to give you, like, nuggets to chew on. Yes, carrots to chew on. That's fan mm. of the episode. Apple Some pies are... to chew on. Yeah. Okay. I don't I, really I... like carrots that much. Okay. What's the hot takes <laughs> on for cold foods about carrots? Sam? Uh carrots. I like them when they're cooked. Uh, raw carrots. I'm not a big fan of, especially like baby carrots. I don't know. Mm. I usually like I I like crunchy things, which carrots are. They're just too like too. <laughs> In the dirt, for my taste. I, I have the opposite take on carrots, <laughs> Sam. I don't like hot carrots. I like cold carrots. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'm. I'm also into baby carrots. Like those are yeah. great snacks. It's. It's like the healthy version of chips, where you can just like pick one out of a bag and you eat like pop them in. So I much prefer those to cooked carrots. Cooked carrots are too. They're. They're you. Usually too soggy. Like people who make them, and like even when they're okay texture, but like they melt in your mouth, and I don't. Good. I don't like that feeling like- either. It is. What kind of carrot melts in your mouth? It's not popcorn. It's still a carrot. <laughs> no, but like when you cook the carrots, it ends up losing any any hardness that it has when it's in raw form. Yeah, also, I mean, I guess it depends on how long you cook it. I hate pumpkins. I hate pumpkin pie. Pumpkin yeah. flavoring makes me feel like I'm allergic to it because every time I eat it, it just makes my throat like all weird. So yeah. Oh no! No. no. Spice pumpkin lattes for you in the fall. Huh, I've had the, I've had the, <laughs> No, I've me, had, me too. I'm anti pumpkin spice <laughs> latte. No. I've had pumpkin get, get spice like out. cookies and stuff when they were good, yeah. but I just find that like I can't really do pumpkins because they make me feel weird. I think I'm allergic mm-hmm. to them. <laughs> Interesting. No. I will say you pumpkin muffins with chocolate chips in them are the most I can enjoy pumpkin in a different form. Like, I also would not eat a straight-up pumpkin. And pumpkin pie is okay. But muffins with chocolate feels like a good balance. Okay, okay. I'm shutting this down. I t- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can cut this. It's fine. No, it's, we won't cut it. I wanted well, to... I'm, well, what I'm are just... your thoughts on bone meal? How does bone meal taste? Oh, right, had, we didn't talk about bone never meal. never had right. bone meal. Where do you get that? The garden store? No, no so you, what you gotta do okay, is you gotta okay. go buy Jello, and then you uh, read the ingredients oh, and you oh, figure out the Jello yeah, is made yeah. of bone meal. Oh, oh, Jello's okay. Oh, that's bone meal. Yeah, so if yeah, you like Jello, then you like bone yeah. meal. Okay. Okay. That's, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's enough. I've, I'm just impressed we're getting like 45 minutes out of this episode. So good job, good job, us. Um, this is a very you... deep episode. Yeah, it's a very deep episode. Let us know what you thought of Diamonds and Lemons uh, in the comments on YouTube or at overlyanimated.com. Let us know what you're excited for about the finale. Um, what if we should have any uh, podcasts uh, pre-finale? Very much looking forward to getting to come along with me, aka The Ultimate Adventure, which I think is the marketing versus the real name um but yeah the four-part hour-long presumably finale adventure time coming september 3rd is it still come along with me i feel like i've heard that too we think that it's called come along with me yeah Yeah. but i think what should be called time adventure hashtag (laughs) ultimate (laughs) the ultimate adventure is uh yeah time adventure yep there you go so let's do your thoughts uh talk with us on our discord overlayanoid.com slash discord adventure time channel is a hoppin today with the the panel um and uh, yeah hoppin is hoppin today no not poppin 
just stop it. Um, and uh, support us via Patreon, pa- Patreon, patreon.com slash overly animated. Thank you very much to all our current patrons, especially our patron of the podcast, Juliana, aka Julie Jana. And thanks as always to our patron executive producers, John Ryan, Steve, Alex, Andy, and Hugh. Um, check out a little bit of a quiet period at overlyanimated.com, but we had DuckTales podcast up recently. We might have some other stuff as well. If you missed our Craig of the Creek, Summer Camp Island, Steven Universe podcast, that was all in July. And uh, we'll be getting soon into uh, Voltron, I guess, next. Miraculous Ladybug's coming back. Find all that at overlyanimated.com. So thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Alex has left the server. <laughs>